Hey, what's up guys? Tuki here, back again with another quick video, and admittedly, I am late to the party on this one, but I wanted to make a follow-up. Last year, we talked about the fact that there was a KHL team in NHL 18 through the power of the Spengler Cup tournament, and if you missed it, the Spengler Cup teams have been added. They are playable through the tournament tab. Now, I will say, up front, first and foremost, unfortunately, there is no way to do anything to get these players onto a created team or even in the free agent list. They are basically restricted to the Spengler Cup. But the fact that, yet again, we have a KHL club in NHL, Metallurg, Magnitogorsk are in this game. There's one reason why I'm excited for this. I mean, no, I don't think this is leading to anything, of course, much like I said last year. It's just the case that the NHL game has the rights to the Spengler Cup. So, Metallurg, Magnitogorsk are in. The big thing for me, though, and the reason why I'm really upset that we can't change these teams around or get these players into franchise mode, it's not because of former NHLers like Nick Shore, Kuhleman, Pakarainen, it's because of this guy right here. And you might be asking yourself, a 37-year-old, 74 overall guy who was a ninth-round pick of the Blue Jackets, what's so special about Sergei Mizakin? And for those of you who do not know, this is the KHL's all-time leading scorer and one of the best ever to never make the jump and play in the NHL. When you're talking about the best of all time in the KHL, uh, Denny Zarepoff might come to mind, Alex Radulov might come to mind, who actually has a higher point per game percentage than Mizakin, but Sergei Mizakin, 675 points in 568 career KHL games at the, time of, at the time of recording this video. He is, again, one of the best to never make the jump. I mean, you look at Radulov, who of course has played in the NHL in a couple of different stints. Ilya Kovalchuk, of course. Uh, Vadim Shipachov started to make the jump with Vegas. That didn't exactly work out. Mizakin is on that list. I mean, you can go back a little bit further to before the setup was there with the USSR and players not being allowed to jump over. But ever since that barrier was broken, if you want to talk about the greatest to never come over and play in the NHL, I think it has to be Sergei Mizakin at the top of that list. So, at the very least, it is pretty damn cool to see him in this game. Like I said, kind of upset I can't do anything about it, but I have to admit, I went and played a game with Metalurg, and it's, it's pretty damn cool just to see him in a game of NHL. But like I said... At the moment, uh, there appears to be no way to do anything beyond that. But again, to have a KHL team in the game for the second year in a row is pretty nice. Metalurg in general made up of uh, quite a few former NHLers. Victor Antipin, Alexei Abergalazov, who was a ranger for a cup of coffee. And the goaltender, if I'm not mistaken, Vasily Kochechkin, was the uh, gold medal winning goalie in the 2018 Olympics. If I'm not mistaken, I think he was. And yes, I'm too lazy to check it out, but I'm confident kind of, that I'm right. Anyway, just wanted to talk about that quickly in case you didn't know. It is the type of thing where it's like, oh, that's cool. And then maybe you play through the tournament once and then you never bother again. But at the very least, now you know. If you didn't know, like I said, a little bit late to the party on this one. But check out the Champions Hockey League. I had a video going over the teams there. It's pretty sweet, actually. You got teams from multiple different nations that you didn't think would be in the game, including a team from France. But yeah, Metalurg Magnitogorsk and, more importantly, Sergei Mazakin are in NHL 19. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Again, this video wasn't meant to be anything that important. Just wanted to point out that Mazakin was in the game, basically.